Good afternoon, good afternoon. Whoops. <laughs> that was weird. In the replay, you just saw that. If you're watching live, you won't have seen that yet. Um, this is just my website as I start up today's topic for the... Um... Take it back there. There you go. Hi, welcome. If you're joining me for the first time, make sure you please tap on the little guy in the corner and tap on follow me. And if you're um, a regular, you know what this is going to be about. But also, please make sure that you do, in fact, swipe right on the iPhone. Sorry, right, right on the iPhone, up on the droid, tap on follow me. Make sure you also share it on Twitter and share it to your followers on, on Periscope. And I'll get the context in a moment. This is, hi, this is day, um, what's today? Sorry, I'm not going to put the glasses on. Oh dear, I'll do the glasses. There we go. <laughs> um, this is day four. Yes, day four, indeed, of the 10-day uh, love fest challenge. I'm changing the name around a bit. I'm still trying to find a better name for this as we go through it. Um, and this is day six, day four of the love challenge. If you haven't yet joined in and you want to play in this free little 10-day uh, journey, participate in it. Just go over here, barrysubby.com slash challenge, where you find out all about it. And that will give you the, well, that way around to get a better view. There's another way of doing it. Um, this is my daily, it's a 10 day run and basically I'm already having some amazing results from my clients who've been watching this, checking it out. This is going to be a, is a journey that's ongoing, sharing from my book and people who sign up for the challenge can go into the Facebook group, watch all the replays, ask questions and also vote on the chapters. And today's section is all about your, you and your partner, which is kind of a key place. And I've said before, and I'm going to, I'm still building momentum because people are still joining in and I know this can take a couple of minutes. Um, I am teaching from my book, which is progressive in the sense that each section gets deeper and deeper. So yesterday's subject was about you and about your, your, about yourself it had some good stuff in it. And it was a bit deeper than the first two days. Day four is about your relationship with your partner. I should say you and your, your partner, it, whether you're in a relationship or not. So, the chapters are going to be that spin, and then we go deeper after that. So I trust you'll bear with me, and you're here for the journey, so I'm grateful for that. The only challenge is the votes came in for, no, I don't speak French, sorry. Um, I actually spoke a little bit German way, way many years ago. I lived in Germany, but I don't speak French, sorry. So hopefully someone else can translate for you, or you can understand my English. Um, so anyway, so let me just double check. Again, if you're here for the first time, please make sure you tap the little guy in the corner and you tap on follow me and please share this on Twitter and also share it with your followers on Periscope and tap the screen for hearts which I do appreciate as well, definitely. Um, I am teaching this week and next week um, in this 10 day challenge, which is a free service from me. Again, you can get there, you can get it from here. If you go to barryselby.com slash challenge, that's where you find all the information about this. It's a free 10 day gift from me to you. You can come play and have fun. I'm also teaching from my book this book here, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, the angles of the light doesn't hit it. 50 Ways to Love Your Lover dot, um, is my book. So I'm teaching from this book, although I'm only teaching seven different chapters based on the principles and based upon the votes, because this is a vote-based democracy. <laughs> this challenge is. Um, if you want to get a funny matter about the book, go here, which is barryselby.com slash book. I'll make, it, I'll make this website easy, you know, so you can find stuff. barryselby.com slash book. I recommend getting the ebook version because you'll have that in your hands, your hot little hands right away because if you get the physical book one comes from Amazon which takes about two or three weeks which will be after the challenge is over two costs you more than the ebook the ebook's the cheapest way to, that's the cheapest way to go so you get limited delivery it's only 10 bucks so go here get the book and you can read more about this stuff yourself so the challenge stories I faced is that this week's section um, I have to bring it up to look it up where is the page for that so I'm doing it on computer whilst I'm talking to you on the, on the phone so, uh, where is it? There it is. So, phase four's theme is about your partner. And I had, this is the funny part, uh, one, two, seven chapters listed to choose from. Now, wouldn't you know it, but three chapters got the same number of votes. So I'm gonna ask you, yes, this is your option here, to give me the final deciding vote on which chapter we talk about. So, the three chapters that got voted on, it's all the even numbers, which is strange. So please bear with me and be ready to comment below. Just give me a number. It's going to be chapter 20, 22, or 24, and I'll tell you what they are so you can decide which one you want to hear about. Chapter 20 is true romance is sacred, profound, and a pleasure. That's chapter 20. 
Okay, the 22 is listen to your partner, hear what they say. That's 22. 24, you get even numbers. Okay, 24 is cherish, worship, honor, and respect your partner. So that's three chapter choices. Again, chapter 20, true romance is sacred, profound in the pleasure. Okay, one book 22. 22 is listen to your partner, hear what they say. And chapter 24 is cherish, worship, honor, and respect your partner. So I've got one vote for 22. Any more votes? It's your choice. I'm letting you, you decide which chapter, which chapter we talk about today. So I've got one vote for chapter 22. I'm going to give you about 20, 30 seconds to give me any more votes or agreements on that, and then we'll move forward. So chapter 22 going once. Chapter 22 going twice. I don't see any other votes. I guess you got your vote. Chapter 22 it is. So chapter 22 is listen to your partner hear what they say or they truly what sorry what they truly say and I'll get to what I mean because actually actually sort of have a little sleight of hand in that one um, chapter 20 sorry let me find the chapter verse 22 okay chapter 22 and this is the full explanation for it I'll read it there and I'll just read it to you now is listen to your partner hear what they're truly saying this would quite require you to speak less not a bad thing now, what I want to say about this chapter is, um, well, let me, let me explain to you because I want to give you the, the breakdown for it. It's tempting me in, re in relationship to want to be heard and to be validated and to be rewarded. That's an option. And some people like to trumpet their own horn, as it were. They want to be like, notice me, notice me, notice me. In a relationship, though, a large part of it is being aware of the fact you have a partner. Duh. Sounds so silly. What I mean, though, largely for yourself and for your relationship, is that a lot of the opportunity you have in a relationship is to be the receiving side, listening side of the partnership. One, because it gives your partner room to feel safe. Now, let me caveat. I'm saying this to you, but it's true for both sides, because really the, both of you do this dance. We spend time listening to each other, hearing what each other says, and I actually go deeper in this in one of the other chapters, which I'm, I'll lean into now so you know what I'm talking about. Rather than just what they say, is get below the words to the feeling of what they're feeling. Yes, if you and he, sorry, you and them, I won't say he necessarily because it depends on my clients, look at the option of understanding what you're feeling in the partnership, it's going to be more impactful, more valuable, and more um, connected than if you're just listening to the words that, excuse me, the words that they say. Is that making sense? So, in this, in this chapter, let me go back, I need to go, I'll get the digital version because it's got it in front of me now. Uh, where are we? 22, 22. There we go. There we go. So, um, it's like, you don't just listen to what they're saying. Listen to where they're coming from. So you go inside and listen to inside to where they're coming from. Because where they're speaking from is not necessarily the words you hear. Because first of all, the words that they're saying, you may interpret based on your own filters. So you're going to hear stuff through your filters and you're taking as the words they're saying to you, but it's not true. There's a whole lot more in there than that. So when you listen to your partner, and this is if you're single planning ahead, as well as if you're in a relationship already, it's good to know that your connection is deepened by how you listen, how you connect, how you receive your partner by what they're saying. Okay? Now, I'm just, just scanning through the chapter and I want to get to the bullet points. Um, Oh yes, there's something I wrote in there. I just want to read this out to you now. Is go, so don't just hear what they're saying. Listen to them. Go deeper. Listen to where they're coming from, which I mentioned. Third level, though, is go deeper still. Listen to what the heart is whispering behind the words they are saying. Now, this is, this is the magic work. This is the deep work. When you can get below what they're saying and you can feel into where they're coming from, we can actually hear the message they're really trying to communicate below that. Because most people communicate, they're saying something off the surface mind, which you're hearing, and you're hearing that, and you're trying to respond there, which is up here. But when you deepen and you listen to a lower level, you'll start to feel them come down to a lower level too, a deeper level. When you get into the heart level, you can hear what the heart's calling for, which may, not, may be nothing to do with the words they say. Now, I know this is deep stuff, so a lot of people I know are, flaking, are falling out of listening to this because they're on the surface level, and that's understandable. I only work with certain people and select people who are committed to this journey. So what I want to say to you to know this is 
Sorry, just bring it down a bit more so I can actually use my hands. <laughs> um, is that your relationship can be much deeper. The connection you have with your partner now or in the future can be a whole different level of communication when you listen deeper below the words, below the level of the words, to the level of the feelings, to the heart where they're coming from. Transformation experience, and it will shift your relationship to a whole new level. And frankly, it will change your own um, opportunity for love, for connection, for how you see the world through different eyes, how you listen to your partner through different lens, through a different place. So I'm straightening up the camera as well. Yeah, okay. I'm noticing it's getting a bit, I'm noticing all the, all the uh, pixelation above there. That means it must be getting darker and uh, didn't put the lights on yet. Okay. Um, but here's the deal. Here's the option. When you're in a relationship, listen more than you speak. By listening more than you speak, one, you, one, you, you, you um, provide space for your partner, but two, more importantly, you become more receptive to the messages coming from all over the place, not just from your partner. So this is a powerful chapter. It's a vital piece of the understanding because the transformation that's available by simply listening will surprise you. The opportunity to hear beyond the words, beyond the translation, into the depths of who they are, into the connection of who they are, into the humanity of who they are, is, um, is miraculous. I'll say that. So that's really the, the, this distillation into a very small section of what I mean by that chapter, but hopefully it gives you some ideas. If you're watching this in the replay, hopefully you'll give me comments. And if you're in the Facebook group, please join the Facebook group. Um, i say this again. If you've already done so, please go ahead and come down to the challenge because through the challenge link, I'll give you the link to the Facebook group so you can get in the group and start the conversation as well. Because this is intended to be evocative, to stir things up, to um, nudge you in the direction where you want to go. But the truth is, it's up to you. If you come and join the chapter, that'd be great. I'd have you there to speak, to listen, to dialogue, to be part of the conversation. I also want to um, invite you to reach out and go beyond your boundaries to have what you want in a relationship. Um, whether you go for the book, which is here, and you get the ebook version, by the way, which I talk about, or is to go and do deeper work, because I have online programs and I have coaching as well, you can do that as well. But here's the thing, your heart is important, your love is important, your desire for a relationship is important. Treat it with respect, all of it. Treat relationship, treat your heart, treat you with respect and dignity. In yesterday's topic, we talked about a relationship with self that was much deeper too. So if you join the challenge, you'll get the archives and the replays of all these stuff and stuff, so you can talk about that too. But I want to make sure you got the essence of this chapter. It's a bit drier chapter in some ways, but the opportunity to go deeper in communication, it's not dry. It's powerful. All right? So I'm just summarizing that. I don't see any questions coming up, so I'm going to leave this one alone, make it simple. Um, but I have a whole other topic tomorrow to go through and I've done already four scopes today, three scopes today, so I'm pretty done for the day. So if you're just joining me, please go watch what, what's the replay. I'm signing off now. Um, did it later today because I have <clears throat> two commitments that conflicted, so I just squeeze a scope in, in between. Um, tomorrow I'll probably be back on the earlier time again, probably at 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. is where that time was. Oh no, oh, it won't be, it's going to be late again. I'm on a four hour periscope share -a tomorrow, it's going to go along, so it'll be later in the day. So, thanks for joining me on this Periscope. If you have any questions, please, you can direct tweet me over, over Periscope, I mean over Twitter, or you can find me if you go to thebarrysurvey.com slash challenge. And just go to my website, just find out all the stuff I do for you, because I can help you out with relationship stuff. But challenge is where the group is to sign up and be part of the conversation. All right? Thank you for watching. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with more content and more teaching and more value. So take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.